Hey guys, why oh, my light is so dim? Hold on. Okay, there. I had to brighten up my light. But, I probably do a little scrambling, talking, so you say. Um. Life is not a game. It's not a joke. It's not something to be played around with. I'm not talking about life in general as a what you doing, as a work ties, as a work or a title or a school or college or whatever topic you want to call it. I'm talking about life spiritual life things that people go through sin and in order for anybody to be honest in order for anybody to grow you will have to do what allow the Holy Spirit to leave you allow yourself to be saved allowed to be open or to let anyone know what's going on in your life and it's so many soul on this earth I can't say how many people is Christian I can't say how many people that actually living for God I can't say how many people that's halfway living for God I can't say how many people that know about Jesus Christ. And I can't say how many people that is against God. It's two different, well, it's a few different type of groups. People that are really living for God. People just go to church. There's people believe in God. And there's people doesn't agree. Nothing about what the Bible say. So that called pretty much a reprobate mind. There are people serving for God. A follower of Jesus Christ. Searching for soul. And allowing themselves to be used and to... Allow God to direct their path on what they need to be doing. And there are people that just, just go to church. They don't do anything. Or if they do doing something, they're not committed their whole entire life. But they're pretty much in, in the center. I'm going to go to church. But I'm not going to do this. I'm going to go to church. But I'm not going to obey I'm going to still go to church, but I'm going to still do what I want to do. That is a lukewarm Christian. A lukewarm Christian is pretty much in the middle. You're either going to serve God or you're going to serve the devil. You're either going to serve God or you're either going to serve the devil. A lukewarm Christian, what person cannot be in a sinner? You cannot serve God, and you cannot serve the devil. You're either gonna serve either or. Um, and a person that know about Jesus Christ, they believe in it, but they just pretty much still don't care. They will tell you they believe in God, but that will still do what's in the world and the other part of people who cares that type of attitude I don't care what the Bible say I'm just going to do what I want to do that's those type of people it's four type of people and four different groups and um, 
in order for the fourth group to be connected to everyone else. In order for the first or the fourth group to be connected, in order for the fourth or the third, fourth, third, and second group, second group to be connected to the first group, they will have to allow themselves to be sold out to God. Some people will take longer than others. Some people will be quickly. Some people will take their time to do what needs to be done. And I'm yeah, so tired. I need to go to sleep. I did have a cold, but not anymore. Alright, that's what I was saying. Um. Um. It's a post that I put up on Facebook maybe a few hours or a couple of minutes ago it says it said I can't remember I'm trying to remember um you can be you can say that you being single you can say that you are single but in reality you're not you're probably saying okay what are you talking about Sarah I am single if someone claiming they are single but still allowing themselves to fornicate or still allowing themselves to lust in their mind or still allowing themselves to um do what they want to do how can you say that you are single but you are still fantasizing things in your mind and not allowing yourself to um, flee from it. God tell us that we can flee from temptation. And most people don't allow themselves to flee from temptation because they allow themselves to give the enemy so much credit and the enemy don't even have power. You assume and thinking that the enemy have power because you have a lack of weakness. And when you have a lack of weakness, you can't do anything. In order for in order for us to have um, wisdom, we have to get it from God. Wisdom do not come from the world. Wisdom do not come from men. In order for us to grab spiritual wisdom, we have to have a relationship with God. In order to have a relationship with God, we have to repent from our sin. And ask God for, for forgiveness. And when we allow ourselves to ask God for forgiveness and to repent from our wicked, from, from our wicked, wicked ways, we can allow ourselves to build that relationship and to be strong in the area that we've been weak in our past. And when we allow ourselves to be strong by having a relationship with God and continue to follow God and to continue to seek Him. We begin to grow in areas that we never been strong in. So by us being strong in our weakness, we can flee from temptation. And when you can flee from temptation, God give you authority to have power over Satan. So when you have power over Satan, you can flee from it. But if you a person that trying to have power over Satan, you know good and well you're not no Christian, no good and well you're not following God, you know good and well you're not even God child. He love you, but he hates the sin what you do. So don't try to rebuke the demon. He going to be laughing at you. A person that have a reprobate mind and a person that's living in the world, not in the world, but a person that's living of the world, you don't have any authority over the devil. You nothing to him. You worthless 
worthless worthless to him and he not even worried about you because you're too weak um so this is my random talk for tonight so pray that y'all have a blessed day and allow yourself to be free from everything that's ungodly be honest whole conversation to your brothers and sister and sister and sister and brother and brother I most of the time people know that they haven't struggled but in order for someone to be honest that person will have to, to confess to God and to build an open relationship because if you cannot allow yourself to be re build a relo build a open relationship with a person that really cared for you in church, nobody wouldn't know because that sin would be closed door sin. And when a sin is closed door, it's hard to figure out what's going on with that person because it's a secret sin. And so that's all I have with my open talk. I'll probably do, be doing more open talk, but I don't know. Who knows but God. Alright, guys. I'm going to bed. I just came from a night prayer. And I'm sleeping. Oh, yeah. Sleeping. Alright, bye, guys.